welcome to the dental services unit prize giving ceremony for the CR Think Mouth Think Health Dental Comic Strip Competition. I wish to acknowledge the presence of our Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Glensford Joseph, our Chief Nursing Officer, Ms. Kusni Suraj, Senior Management Heads, Heads of Department, Dental Staff, other Ministry of Health staff, invited guests, the media, and of course, our winner, Mr. Neil Osman. Welcome. Today's activity marks the culmination of last year's oral health promotion on halitosis. The dental chemistry was a creative way of engaging the youth to be aware of a condition called halitosis, which is most often called bad breath. The competition took place in the latter half of the year and was open to a wide cross-section of the youth from ages 12 to 35 years. A call for submissions was made and a televised ad was placed on the media and I'm going to showcase the media ad. It's the Fight Halitosis Dental Comic Strip Competition. Let's see what you're made of. Design a comic strip of eight panels on any one of the themes, halitosis, oral hygiene, and non-communicable diseases. Your comic strip should be 18 by 24 inches. The deadline is September 15, 2019. Your soft copy submission goes to the Millennium Heights Medical Complex Facebook page. And your hard copy goes to the Senior Dental Surgeon and Department of Health and Wellness, Waterfront Castries. You must be 12 to 35 years to enter. Electronic prizes to be won. Let's see what you've got. It's the Fight Halitosis Dental Comic Strip Competition. What did y'all think of that? <laughs> very enticing, very catchy. And I'm sure Mr. Osman, when he comes up, he'll explain what really triggered him to actually participate in, in this competition. There was also a PSA which was circulated and televised, and here is a copy of it. Oh boy, there goes Janice. I'm going to ask her out. Okay, my boy. Uh, hi Janice. I got something to ask you. Hi. Sure. You can ask me anything. Um, what time is it? Ten to four. Okay, thank you. Well, what did she say? She has bad breath. Oh, halitosis. What? Halitosis is also known as bad breath. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, man. Janice represents part of the 25% of people who are affected by bad breath. But where does it come from? In most cases, halitosis originates from the gums and tongue. When food particles are left in the mouth, they break down by bacteria, produces sulfur compounds, which causes bad odor in the mouth. Flossing and brushing regularly can help prevent this. Ah... In some cases, if your bad breath won't go away, it can be a warning sign of advanced gum disease, mouth infections, sinus condition, gastric reflux, diabetes, liver or kidney disease. See a doctor if your bad breath does not go away. Boy, I am too embarrassed to ask someone if I have bad breath. You can do a personal test for halitosis. It's called the wrist test. Lick the inside of your wrist and let it dry for a minute. Sniff the area. If you have halitosis, then there would be a bad odor. Thank goodness, there is no bad odor. We can also get an idea of the odor people get when we speak by using dental floss in between the back teeth. This is where food particles are most likely to get caught. Smell the floss. This should give an idea of the odor others get when we speak. Wow! It is important to practice good oral hygiene, such as brushing and flossing at least twice daily, after breakfast and dinner. Proper brushing will remove bacteria and food particles on teeth and at the gum line. Flossing will remove accumulated bacteria, plaque and food trapped between the teeth. Boy, you just fed me with loads of information. Wait, there's one more thing I have to let you and everyone know. Visit your dentist regularly and be sure to fight halitosis with regular brushing and flossing. This one I know for sure. This message was brought to you by the Dental Services of the Department of Health and Wellness in collaboration with and sponsored by PAHO and WHO. 
Lovely. Lovely. And I will say that we got a lot of raving reviews during the production and televising of, of this PSA. A lot of persons said they were not very aware as to why persons had halitosis or bad breath. And uh, they were quite happy to see the neat little trick with the wrist. And um, it was a very good one. The whole aim of our department is to really bring forward oral health, the subject of oral health, and how it impacts not only our mouth, but the rest of the body and vice versa. And so our winner, Mr. Osman, submitted a piece of work, a work of art that just went beyond our imagination, um, both in content and in the design of the comic strip. And there was no um, hesitation to say, yes, this is it. And so I'd like to welcome and congratulate Mr. Osmond for having submitted his piece. And he's all very ready to come and explain to us what his concept was behind his piece. My uh, piece was basically of, my concept was basically of uh, the uh, topic and I know it was fight halitosis and there was a few films, but I decided to go with um, halitosis. Um, the, I chose it because it was something that I could relate to. I'm not saying that, well, we all have a slight, uh, at times, a slight condition of bad breath, but I have um, encountered others who have had bad breath, even in my workplace. And, I thought it was much easier to relate to, so I chose it. Um, what I decided to do was to uh, explain it, explain their condition of halitosis through the artwork, through um, the one page of comic strip. Although um, I wish I could have had more, maybe a second panel or more panels on that page, but yes. I decided to make it work. Although I, I did a lot of uh, brainstorming, story boarding all on my own. And um, the competition came at a time where I was uh, in the process of um, trying to get better at drawing human figures, human proportion. And uh, when I came across it on Mr. Ted Sandiford's um, Instagram page, I thought that it just fell at the right time. It came at the right time, so because I'd already purchased um, some art supplies, and every day I was practicing to get better at drawing, as you can see, the uh, human proportion. Mm -hmm. um, so it came at the right time and it allowed me to uh, put that, that I was practicing into work. Um, I did use a lot of reference, so most of it did not um, truly out of my imagination. I used um, certain apps uh, that could allow me to manipulate a certain figure and put it into different postures. So most of the, um, Postures of the uh, superhero and the kids up there was done by the um, the app, and I just redrew it and I put it into the uh, software. I use a uh, Adobe Illustrator, and it was a lot of uh, I would say sleepless nights, <laughs> but a lot of nights where I went to bed really late because I work uh, a night shift, so I don't have much time during the day. So when I came home. Every night I would uh, try to do at least a few, at least do as much as I could. Um, and I tried my best to uh, explain and to at least entertain the topic of halitosis throughout the uh, page. I tried to do my best to um, make it also have a bit of sense of humor with the uh, capturing of the uh, monster. And for the uh, monster or the young boy turned to a monster or some type of Godzilla um, <laughs> creature. I just wanted to show how um, or exaggerate how someone you may experience having bad breath or if you have bad breath, how it, how people will perceive you. I just try to exaggerate <laughs> that because yeah. it can really put you off or make people run. Yeah, <laughs> if you have a really bad case of bad breath. So. That's why I tried to um, the, um, portray that in my piece, showing the young man who, well, um, I did have like 
five more space. I did have like um uh origination of um the uh situation with the uh, young man. I wanted to depict uh, how he kept waking up every morning and having breakfast and kept going to school without brushing. But uh, his mother used to always walk, um, tell him while having breakfast that to make sure he brushes his teeth before he goes to school. I wanted to repeat that, but I just tried it. Since we had a limitation in the panels, I just tried to cut scenes as much as possible. So I started in, in the mouth, showing you uh, the cause or one of the causes of bad breath or halitosis, which are the uh, food particles left behind and turning into sulfur and so on. Um, and that, that was taking place over a long period of time. And just one day, I came to school greeting his friends as usual and uh, some of the uh, <laughs> some of the uh, germs or particles left behind which triggered his uh, bad breath finally uh, decided to transform him <laughs> uh, we transform him slowly into a alitosaurus as I call him <laughs> um, and that, that changed him he had like no control over himself him to become a big huge kind of dinosaur but he's a master and at the time he was at school and he just went on a roaring tour and on his lunch break was uh, Dento which is the dentist he was on his um, lunch break when he passed by the drive by the school and he was alerted by the uh, monster and sadly he had to he could not resist so he had to um go into his superhero mode <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and cut short his lunch hour to um deal with the situation and he did deal with it using uh, some of i could say the real cause the real ways to deal with um halitosis which is brushing um, and flossing. So luckily, he had his um, tools with him. He had a, <laughs> a, he had a uh, lasso which was made out of minty uh, floss, <laughs> and he had a toothpaste gun. <laughs> so he used that to great effect to um, deal with the condition of the young man. And at the end, you can see him. Um, explain it to him much better his condition for as I said before he had no he had no, no idea of what was happening so um, then to the dentist um, explained to him what had happened and inf um, informed him as to what should be done to uh, prevent this condition yes, so that's basically my piece and I tried to uh, as much as possible do it with a sense of humor and as well to be more to inform a lot of um, those who might see it. Yeah. Okay, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Artist, but I will try to go through the comic strip. Let's see. As you can tell from, from the picture that we saw, it started in the mouth as he explained. And he said, it says, meanwhile, in the dungeons of the mouth. And we have the bacteria speaking right now. And it says, well, I go just chill out there still. Another one says, according to my calculations, we have nine minutes and 59 seconds until the bacteria arrive. And it's party on, guys. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, it's go time, baby. <laughs> Yes, boys, we're soon breaking out trouble when we bust out. And then now he goes to the school. What's the vibe, fellas? And all the students start running away from him. Oh, my goodness, Vijay, you really need an oral checkup. For weeks now, Vijay has had that bad odor. Now that just get worse, wow, boy. Oh, Gasa Vijay, didn't you brush your teeth this morning, bro? 
Then he converts into a roaring dinosaur. Why is everyone running? Why? What in the world is happening to me? And then you have the dentist who's on his lunch break, hearing the roar from the school. Whoa, what's happening over there, he says. Oh man, not again. Now another Halitosaurus on the loose. <laughs> so he pulls out his shirt, opens it like a Superman. <laughs> Miss Carol, and he calls his office. Miss Carol, can you let my first patient know that I'll be running late this morning? Because it's hero time. <laughs> and she says, no problem, boss. So there he is, all in the sky, the dentist. Stop right there, bad breath monster. It's time for your checkup. <laughs> and the monster says, you dare step up to me. Boy, you must be a mad fella. <laughs> and so the battle begins. And they start fighting over. And the dentist says, your terrorizing days are over, Halitosaurus. Now that you're all tied up, I shall quickly bring your reign of terror to an end. With the help of my minty floss lasso and my reliable toothpaste gun. Hasta la vista, baby! <laughs> <laughs> and the Halitosaurus says, What is this thing? Untie me! Why? It's so minty and fresh! No! <laughs> and then he reverts back to a normal person. <sighs> What happened to me? Why do I have this rope around me? And why? My uniform tear like that? Hey, my mother going to beat me? <laughs> and the dentist says, It's all right, buddy. Your bad case of halitosis, which is a technical term for bad breath, is what caused you to turn into halitosaurus, a huge green monster triggered by food particles lingering in your mouth after eating. They get broken down by bacteria, creating sulfur compounds, which eventually leads to bad breath and to becoming a bad breath monster. But, but, why didn't my friends or classmates tell me before? I guess they feared you would react to it. Not many people feel comfortable telling someone they suspect to having halitosis or suffer from poor hygiene. Oh, I see. Thanks for everything, Dento. Don't mention it, buddy. Just remember to brush and floss your teeth regularly and drink plenty of water throughout the day. And remember, cleanliness is godliness. Ooh. Ooh. A job well done. You went well. And I'm sure your mind went further than where I was right now. And this is one of the main reasons why we had no hesitation in deeming Mr. Osman as the winner of the competition. And so with no further ado, we are going to present him with his long-awaited prize, well, prizes of a Kindle Fire a Fitbit and a solar power battery charging bank. Can you please come up? This presentation is going to be done by Mrs. Debbie Paul. This prize for winning the dental crew. I'm coming. Sorry. I'm honored to present this prize for winning the dental strip, com dental comic strip competition to you, Mr. Osman. 